Hey gang, Van Ham back here with some Captain of Industries. We're checking this out now today. It is live in early access on the Steam store as of the 1st of June. Um, so if you're keen on getting this, head on over there and you can pick it up for yourself. Uh, there is two, two packs, the Standard Pack and the Founders Pack. The Founders Pack, I think, has a couple of extra things, maybe an extra map or something as well. We're just playing on the Standard at the moment today. The developer is Murphy Games. Um, and the game is a colony and factory simulation game. Alone with your loyal crew, expand a small colony of survivors into an industrial empire. Form an abandoned island to vast factories, research labs, and even a space program. So that's going to be pretty cool. Build mine farm, shape terrain, explore trade, and take care of your settlement as you go. So it's a city builder and industrial builder and all that sort of stuff and not only that but you can see a picture of the warship in the background here yes we do have a ship that we start with and yes we can upgrade it so we can go out and fight pirates and do all that kind of cool stuff along the way because there are other islands to go and visit as well now i haven't played much of the game i'm not great with the game mechanics so i'm getting this disclaimer out of the way now if you're here for a tutorial video i'm going to do the best i can to help you the best i can uh but if it's not exactly what you want i'm sure there's a plenty of other great youtubers out there that uh will help you uh, and i know there is um, otherwise if you're here to play along uh, i encourage backseat gaming if you've got great tips hints or tricks uh, that you want to let me know leave it in the comments below um, because i do encourage that backseat gaming uh, i don't like spoilers i don't like people telling me you know the spoilers but i don't mind uh the hints and how to's along the way uh, and obviously uh, if you guys think of something cool, we can implement it as well. All right, so we're going to go new game today. We are just going to start on the New Haven map. This map is uh, a balanced map for the new casual player because it has most of the resources and stuff we need in the one area uh, for starting out. And same can be said for the game difficulty. So you, you can see all these different maps here. And as I said with the Founders Pack, I think you get uh, maybe more maps. I can't remember. We're starting on New Haven. Game difficulty, you can see Sadly, Captain or Admiral. We're obviously not going to play on Admiral today. I've thought about playing Captain, but for the sake of this playthrough and just checking it out, uh, I think if we if we end up doing a proper series, we're going to do a restart and we'll start off as Captain. But for now, we're going to go Sailor because we get uh, we just get a bit of a foot up in the way of uh, of this game, and we're here to learn about how the game plays and the mechanics, and then later on we can make it harder for ourselves. Uh, game Seed, if you're playing along at home, let's just I don't think it change. I don't know if it. Does it add much? Affects randomization used in places like weather generation, world map layout. Does not affect the map generation. All right, so we'll go with game seed of um of um my subs are great because you guys are. Thank you very much for all your continued support, all the subscribers, and launch. Right, so here we are. We got a message from uh, one of our sailors. Captain. We're the captain, by the way. Guys, me and you. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at you, watching this game. You're a captain with me. We're captains together. We're in this together, guys. Captain, we've just docked. Our ship and the local shipyard will both need major repairs. Oh, that's not good straight off the bat. The abandoned communication station near the dock could be deconstructed and used to smelt iron in a blast furnace so we can build more vehicles and construct parts. It's, it is essential to build research lab, a research lab, don't leave words out of him, as soon as possible so we can figure out more blueprints for importing things such as farms or a beacon, okay? I think the beacon is used, uh, We a beacon is used uh, to um, draw settlers into your settlement and bring refugees and stuff in to help you help you out a friendly village you can trade with is nearby check this world check the world map trading can be a lifesaver if you run into a shortage of critical products so you should research and build a trading dock as soon as possible thank you very much sailor right so you can see here this is our ship it starts off pretty basic it doesn't look like the warship in the picture and our dock's pretty basic and here's our starting fleet just here and I think this is the communications tower. Yep, abandoned communications tower. This is our settlement, right? Currently they have a food market which uh, which feeds them. Uh, they have no waste management at the moment. We're gonna have to put that in. 
Uh, right, so the objectives, like it said, message center, we should build a research lab. So straight off the bat, that's the first thing we're going to do. Now we start off with a heap of supplies. You can see them on the right here. These are the supplies that we start off with, okay? We don't have any, I think that's rubber, iron, wood, or coal, right? So these are products we're going to have to get going straight off the bat. The next thing we got to do, yep, so research center, let's do that. Uh, which one is it now? Waste management, smelting, uh, hey, research. Right, so we do we want to put our research center? Now we, just before we kick off, we want to actually check the map for where the resources are. You can do that by clicking on this button down the bottom left corner where my little hammer is. Click on that and you can see our resources, resources here and the actual um, key that shows you what they do. Now, you've got terrain grid, mining, dumping areas, tree harvesting. We haven't put these in yet. You can see right here, don't confuse that for copper. That's actually ground water. So that's probably better for arable land for farming. This here looks like coal to me. Yep, brown color coal. We've got a bit of oil in the ground just here. We look like we've got limestone potentially up here. Or is that sand? I think that's sand and that's limestone. This is copper. Uh, what else? And this is iron. And then what's the yellow? The yellow is gold. Ooh, gold, baby. Uh, right, so that's that's our ores that we've got around the map at the moment. We might try and put our farming stuff up in here and probably use more of that arable land. And we'll use more of this land down here for our construction zones. Although construction zone up here, right in the smack bang, might be better. Okay, so first things first, uh, bring that back up again. If we've got arable land here, it might be prudent might not be prudent for us to actually clear out some of this forest right so the first thing we've got to do research lab like i said so we'll put the research lab down here out of the way uh where will we put it down here let's put all researchy kind of those sorts of buildings down here knowing that we've got home more homes that we probably want to put down and around this way as well uh let's keep research on this side for the moment we'll keep sort of utility buildings here all right, uh, I'll leave a bit of clear space in case we have to put more more things along the water. All right, so now once we've clicked that down, the trucks will head over to the uh, storage and I'll pick up the supplies, go over there, and uh, that'll get built up straight away. And then we can whack in our first uh, parts of research. You can see here, good job, lads. Hey, killing it. In there, they look like Hilux pickup trucks or, or, or yeah, they look like, <laughs> yeah, righto. We've got research. <laughs> Okay, am research lab is ready perfect up here you've got your tutorials so we've got welcome captain waste and dumping research is ready so waste and dumping your population generates waste that needs to be collected maintain healthy conditions in your settlement so basically if you just let the rubbish build up in the settlements their health will drastically reduce now let before we kick on with research and everything else let's sort out this uh, waste thing now and get you guys set up with that if you're playing along at home You've got designated dumping zones where we dump waste. But prior to that, we have to actually have waste management. Which building is it? Maybe we don't have it up here. Oh, we do. Here you go. Waste collection. So this is your housing and services, right? So you can see there's already the food storage there or the food market. We want waste collection. So we might put waste collection. Hmm. We might put waste collection on the side here or over the back here. Put it over the back, okay? So the trucks will go and pick up the stuff and come and build this. Now, what will happen is if you don't designate a zone for the waste to be dropped, they'll just dump it wherever. So it'll just dump out here. What we want to do now is click on dumping designation or you can hit the Z key, right? And it brings up this. Now we have to pick a spot where we're going to sort of dump a lot of stuff. Oh, I kind of want to keep all this area open and free. So we might actually set up a dumping zone over here. Hmm... Let's just use this square for the moment. Uh, hit R key, we'll rotate. Okay, the R for rotate. That old chestnut. Okay, and we're just going to drag that out and leave it like that. Okay, that's our dumping zone for waste. So what happens when there's a big buildup of waste in here, one of the trucks will come along, pick it all up, and they'll dump it over there. All right, next step is we need to get uh, this. I oh, know, research, Ham. 
start new research right so we basically want to just pretty much unlock most of this stuff straight up so we're going to need these ones are already the game starts you off with these ones already researched we're going to go straight for basic uh construction look we're going to queue them up so it doesn't matter we'll go basic farm start we'll go construction add to queue we'll go mm -hmm. We'll go vehicles and mining, add the queue, and then we'll go trade dock, add the queue, and then power and maintenance, add the queue, right? So that's what we're doing straight off the bat. So you got one, two, three, four, five, perfect, okay? So that when one finishes, that the next one will start, okay? Here's your speeds up the top here. P uh, space bar for pause, and one, two, three for your speeds. Right, now we can get into what we're doing. So he said down here, uh, we don't want research, thanks. Captain Research Lab. Abandoned communications tower near the dock could be deconstructed and used to smelt in a blast furnace. That will be this one here, so we can start recycling, right? But nothing's going to happen now because we don't have any infrastructure set up at all. So, what do we do for that? Well, quite simply put, we need to start making charcoal. Uh, we could dig charcoal out of the ground, but we don't have any mining facilities set up at the moment. We don't have an excavator. What we do have is starts off with the tree harvester um we might just where did we say we were going to put our stuff up here out of the way didn't we we could make this kind of a centralized uh manufacturing zone to start off with and i think that's not a bad idea what i want to try to avoid because the the cars will actually make their own tracks up and down through here so we might need to try and I know there is a way that you can send the vehicles. We could probably send them around this way. Uh, I think you hold shift for that. I'm not too sure I read it. I read it in a magazine once. <laughs> okay. So let's start building here. Right. Coal maker. Oh, the old coal maker. Right. With these buildings, I don't know if any of you have ever seen Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic or something, whatever it's called, the game. A lot of this, you have to tell them what you want to do and you have to add little pieces and pipes and uh, exhaust stacks and and um, conveyor belt systems and stuff with it okay so this will go in we'll put this um hmm, actually there's a forest just here but we want to start taking from that one i think we will just kick our coal burner over this way okay so we're going to go the input side is down here you can see a log where my hammer is that's the input and out the other end is where the coal comes and there's an exhaust stack so we'll sit that there now we want to get uh you can this is where you can connect pipes right so i could connect the pipe all the way out and around and do a big funny loop and stuff we're not going to do that we don't need to do that we've got a smokestack here okay smokestack we can just plug straight into it because that's all that needs to happen for that and then what we will do once that gets built Someone should be going to get the parts for it. This guy, he's going to go up there and build those that stuff. Old mate's already heading up there. Now, I want to just see. I don't know if there's a way I can set the vehicles on a certain route. I might check that and come back to us in another episode. But I'm pretty sure we can, we can route the vehicles to go certain ways that we want rather than just go wherever they want. Uh, yeah, not too sure. Okay, once that's up and building we will let's start getting our other stuff set up so we need a blast furnace okay where do we want to put the blast furnace we might just keep everything over here in this corner might be the way to go just to start with okay so blast furnace is going to go let's um swivel it so our um inputs are from that side right so that's our coal this can sit Okay, let's put that there. Let's get an exhaust stack for it. Plug that in. Um, okay, and now we need to get a metallic caster. Okay, so whatever it smelts, it will then cast. So we can set a couple up here. So we might actually go like... We'll go one there... And will we go one there as well? I hope that works. And then we can get our 
conveyor pipe. So we want the molten channel. Want to plug this into there. Uh, can you do what you did there? Thanks. Yeah, all right. So that's perfect. All right, groovy. <laughs> okay, I think that's all right. I think that's how it goes. I can't remember. I hope so. Do we have any... We don't have any storage or anything yet either. But what happens is these guys will all start building this up. You can see here. Look at them go. Right, now that we've got this coal thing set up, we'll just watch this guy and I'll show you what we have to do next to get coal burning. Because there's little tricks that you might not know and you'll get frustrated and you're like, how do I do this? It's very much, you have to just be patient and spend some time looking around your menus when you click on stuff because it uh, doesn't hold your hand too much when it comes to telling you what to do. All right, guys, you need to go get the pipe work for this too, please. Is someone doing that? I think they are. Okay, while they do that, let's now click on our coal plant here. Uh, first things first, actually, we will designate the... Um, we, oh, we've just had uh, the food production unlocked. You can see up here, basic farming done. Okay, just missed that for a second. We want to go tree harvesting designation zone. We're actually still going to pull it from over here. We're going to take all that and all that, okay? So what will happen now is this little guy here, he's going to drive up all the way up and he'll start chopping those trees down but that's not the most that's not the next important thing the next important thing is to come to your coal maker and to the coal maker no you need to click on this guy I apologize you need to click on this guy and you need to assign a truck to help him okay so one of our spare vehicles down here sitting around having smoko click on that uh, you can click up to seven trucks if you want, helping them out. But we're just going to get in one vehicle who's going to come now and head over. So when he cuts down the logs, the logs will put, go back on the back of the truck and he'll bring them over to the coal plant and start turning wood into coal, okay? And when the coal gets produced there, the coal will then get sent around here to turn the furnace on and the furnace will start smelting once they start bringing um, scrap iron scrap over and smelting it okay now while we're going a couple of things to know with your farms if you don't have this i figured this out the hard way but if you don't have arable designated watery land here like this right and you build somewhere like down here for instance you, there is the ability to uh, build a water catcher off it and attach it to it for the moment, we're just going to sit. We're actually going to start. Uh, we'll start it here, I think. Okay, that's where our first farm's going to go. Now, we'll see how we go. We might still need to put a rain catcher on it. But that's going to start producing food um, for our population. Now, currently, we have 45 months worth of food. 57 workers available. Uh, and we have a population of 91 out of 140. Right? Unity's looking pretty good at the moment, and health, we're not too bad, all right? You can see the trucks start to make roads, their own roads, the more they drive over it. Uh, so, yeah. Right, next things, next, what do we got? We're waiting for more research, I think, aren't we? Uh, we got farms. We've got these guys. Waste, we should be good. These guys will start building up a bit of waste. You can see down here, we've already had... And Albany's coming to dump a little bit more, but the waste is starting to build up now. And once it's full, I don't know what we do then. We'll, have, we'll tackle that problem together, though. I know we will. All right, so that's just going to keep piling up and piling up until we do something about it. I think, though, uh, where are we up to on our message center? Waste and dumping, we're right. Research lab, we're right. Tools. So they do. that's another thing. There is the ability to copy and paste. So if I... We built this um we built this little setup just here. If I want to make another one of those setups, I just go copy, drag and click all that, and I can put it right there. Okay? Like exactly like that. I don't want to do that at the moment. We just don't need to. What we're waiting for is probably to unlock. What's the next thing unlocking? Construction. We probably should have taken mining so we could get mining out of the way. But that's okay. These guys will be done shortly. 
food. What's this going to give us? It gives us production of basic construction parts, which is probably not a bad thing anyway, to be honest. What I would like is the ability to have some storage as well, which we don't have yet. No. No storage at the moment. Okay, so these guys are going to... You can see he's, start, he's just brought over some timber. And the timber is now going to be turned into coal. So once that gets some... Um, once they get enough to have a full load, one of these trucks will take it over here and start the process. And then they'll start um, deconstructing this a little bit more. The other thing is, once we get a couple of warehouses for storage, we can start assigning those warehouses with concrete slabs and electronics so they can start taking stuff out. Okay? Or we can just leave it there. Excuse me. We can leave it there for the moment. And it is what it is. Uh, how are we going down here at the farm? We're doing lovely. So we are 36 out of 60 water. Fertility is not too bad. Uh, and we're producing potatoes. Okay. Right. Fertility. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Fertility equilibrium. Fertility equilibrium is a value to which the soil fertility will cover naturally for the current crop schedule. At the equilibrium crop fertility consumption is equal to the natural replenishment rate. If there are multiple crops set up in a rotation, this value only approximates... Okay, so you can have these set up in a rotation. So if we have four farms, we could set up one works and then when it finishes a crop, it'll stop for a bit. So I'm thinking that's... Is that how they do it? Maybe that is. Something that we might look at a little bit later. It seems like a bit of a more com complex system. Uh, how are we doing research-wise? Are we almost done with that? We are. We could speed things up a little bit here. All right. So these guys, he's t so he's got some more resources there because I think we're under the way now. Yep. You can see here now. So he'll bring the stuff up and it goes in. Scrap iron goes in. And it gets uh, melted. And then, look at this. It gets poured in. They'll get made. They'll cool off. Then they'll get pushed on here and pushed into their uh, designated... Like that. Storage, right? And that's that. That's pretty much that. It will get full, though. It will reach her capacity. Uh, but that's, that's how the cookie crumbles. We just need to have storage uh, ability. Right. So we've got general mechanics now. So we've got a uh, an assembly manual. So now we can make uh, construction products. Where do we want to set up our construction products yard? Do we want to keep it down here where the research stuff is? Or do we want to keep it centralized up here with this? I'm thinking we try and keep construction stuff up around this way. Uh, so if we have a construction plant. Let's designate uh, maybe... Put the construction plant just over here that's our inputs and that's the output so we'll have an input there i'll leave some space in case we want to set up more uh, hmm, hard to know where we want this i kind of want it down here as well in case we set up trading and everything down this way we can just drive it up there if we need to don't forget that all vehicles and everything will consume diesel right uh, vehicles also will require maintenance over time otherwise they'll break down and all that sort of stuff so we want it, we need to try and avoid that in the meantime let's just get this down here I think utility buildings I said we'd keep down here so I think we'll just keep it all down here uh, how do you want to do it well you need to leave a gap for in and outs okay have it like that so they can come in this way and out that way. Just remember that's how you've got to set up ham. Roger. Uh, what are we up to now? Vehicles and mining. Perfect. Alright, we're looking good. These guys are kicking along nicely. They're doing stuff. Things are happening. What are we up to now? With our... Products and things we can make. No further. Research, please. Assembly manual has no recipe. Yeah, okay. So let's look at that while we're waiting. So here is where you can produce. So iron plus wood equals concrete slab, right? As simple as that. Iron equals mechanical parts. 
rubber and copper equal electronics okay so they're your recipes that you can do we don't need to designate that now we've just got the building ready to go for when we do need to produce a lot of these products okay you can see here irons on the way up it's trending upwards guys <laughs> timber eh, it's up and down same with coal because there we're constantly using them and bring them in using them right uh, how are we doing down here search wise almost done almost done and then what do we got trading power maintenance concrete production beacon basic diesel so we're probably gonna have to do some uh... yeah okay I'll leave these for the moment in case we want to set up some basic diesel pretty quickly power and maintenance so these maintenance buildings all right are probably gonna be what we need pretty soon for trading and s no trading is this one come on him all right let's just hit play again on the old button where were we up to here buildings for vehicles right so we have a vehicle depot once again we're gonna keep it down here with our sort of utility buildings okay let's have the vehicle depot so say we've got in and out that way We'll make this like one little uh, complex where they can come in and around. You'll see what I mean shortly. I thought you were going to keep this open. Yeah, I was too, wasn't I? My bad. Right, well, what we'll do is we'll have it this way in this square. Oh, I, fuck, I stuffed it up. If you stuff it up, pause. Uh, get your little bulldozer down here. Get rid of the lava. Okay. And then you can put it back in. And we want it there so they can come in and out this side and these guys can drive out here now once we get that set up we can construct an excavator and i think one of the first things we're getting plenty of iron from this let's bring up our resources what would we most likely need we probably need to extract a lot more coal than rather than chopping down trees and burning because we probably want the wood for ourselves so let's set up a mine uh, for coal shall we and let's do that at the back end over here right uh, we're gonna do it from this point yeah and you can see it will designate uh, the area where you can mine in okay we'll just start here and then later on we can move it as we need it uh, or will we start there Ooh, I don't think we will actually We'll start it here on the mount on the side of the mountain. Yeah, we'll start it like that. Okay. So what happens is one of the workers will come and get the stuff. You know, you get you get you get the deal, right? Now we've got our vehicle depot. We can actually build a um, excavator, right? We're going to use this excavator to start mining us some coal out of that uh, out of this little mountain down here. Now the thing with um, mining is obviously like all mines you dig down into the mine and get the resources you need it later on if you need to make this land viable for living or you need more flat ground you can actually back it backfill it back in uh and level it all off again uh um alternatively if you need to build up on a different plateau so say we want to get up there we can actually build a ramp up here with dirt so that we can get access up there okay things like cool things like that um all right guys come on speed 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 anything else we can build while we wait we're pretty much okay we've got our mining tower set up for that spot and do we have this guy's being built perfect so it consumes diesel iron and vehicle parts um out of our resource out of our out of our kit over here to build that okay Come on. Okay, perfect. So he should come out of there now. Lovely. Good job, gang. Good building. Now, we're going to designate that and that to there, right? So they get an excavator and a truck. We'll wait till he gets over here. Right, then what you want to do is... Uh, oh, we've got a truck here. What? You've still got a mate still waiting here. Buddy, you need to, you need to stop, like... Having a, having a nap, he's just having a nap in his um in his truck. Right, trading dock researched and finished. We'll get to that shortly. 
Where's our excavator? Is he on the way here? He's on the way. Oh, there he is. Okay, perfect. Right. Uh, dismiss that, thanks. What we're going to do now is we're going to get, much like the dumping designation zone, we're going to get this mining designation, okay? Desig Mining 101. And we're going to actually start here. Now, if you, um, if you want to mine down or mine up, that is, you've got your cues here that show you F uh, for a decline, I think, is it? Right, F. Right, does that. Um... E goes plus one, Q goes down one, like that, right? So you can mine downwards. So if we want, we could, I think to start with, we should probably, oh, I've pressed the wrong key then. No, Ham, you're pressing the wrong keys. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it the way, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it the way the game starts you off. We're just gonna go like this, okay? Start mining, buddy boy. Yeah, that's better. See, I think that's right. Anyway, we'll come back and check on that later. We'll get the hang of that a little bit better. You can see him start digging that out, right? Now, here you can see uh, what can be dumped here. Dirt, rocks, slag, slag crushed waste can all be dumped here, um, around here as well. All right, we probably don't want that, but I'm going to leave it the way it's intended at the moment. We can also designate this guy to go, what do you want to mostly get? Well, we mostly only want you to get coal, okay? And that's what he is getting. So he's now got a load of coal and he's heading off. Has he? Oh no, he's got dirt, right. So he's just going to take all the waste and take it over here. We might actually need to um, set up a bigger waste pile if that's the case. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll make all this waste. Okay. Ooh, I don't know why you're going down like that. Probably because you're... Yeah, okay, that's why. Uh, I don't want you to do that. We'll leave it. That'll be enough for them for the moment. Put it that way. Okay, they're going to keep going. So, he's only going to take coal. Anything else is just going to be um, left aside and then taken to the waste dumpage so that makes sense okay but it's going to make us not need to chop trees for wood anymore so i don't know how we uh, we can stop burning wood now i think let's pause that wood okay we don't want to cut that down anymore and burn trees for wood we want to actually keep wood for ourselves now which means he will probably be a little bit more redundant. We'll come back to that shortly because once I get some storage sheds up. Do we have storage sheds yet? Storage, unit storage. Okay, perfect. We'll get a couple of these up. Let's put our unit storage over here. This is what I was waiting for. Okay, we'll get, um, we'll get them like here. One. We'll leave a little gap in between in case cars and vehicles want to get in between. Two, three, and four. We'll put four storage units up. Once they get those built, we'll, we'll come back to that. Next thing we want to do is click on our ship section down here. We've got uh, trading docks. Allows trading of various goods with villages on the world map. If you press the tab key, brings up your world map, okay? This is what it looks like. So we can trade uh, with these guys here, right? So settlement reputation one. Okay, and then you do all your trading here. We'll get into that uh, a bit later. But for the meantime, let's get the docks in. So you can see here where your docks are going to go, and you can see the navigator waters. So we currently, we can put it there. Uh, do we want to put it over here at all? Maybe over here is better. We can't put it right there because our ship's in the way. Considering this is all our utility and construction stuff, it might not be a bad idea to have it just like here, you know. Okay, that's where our trading um, docks is going to go, just there. So all of a sudden, it becomes a little bit more busy. How are we doing food-wise? We've got food for 82 months, gang. Absolutely killing it. Look at our crop in here. Lovely and watered still. 
Okay. I don't know if we have the ability. No, we don't have the rain catchers yet. What else have we got in here at the moment? Anything? Nope, that's it for the moment. How are we doing over here? Guys, just slowly digging out as we need it. I think I think they're digging out as we need it. But what we'll actually do, now we've got these uh, storage sheds built up. Once this one's built up, I'm going to designate this one to hopefully coal. Don't know if I can or not. I might have to make a designated... Yeah, okay. I might have to make a designated dumping ground. I wonder if I have to do that. I wonder if I can do... So this is still, this is me learning now. Let's just do that for the moment. And let's, ah, oh, bugger. Let's go. Can I designate what I want to go in this? I'd like to make a dumping ground just for coal. Okay, so first question to you guys, if you're playing along at home, let me know. Let me know if you know how we actually set up a dumping zone just to take a certain product. So if we just want coal stored here, how would we go about doing that? And is it a research thing instead? So is it something like this storage here, which I think it is, stores up to 180. Okay, there it is right there, guys. Answer, question answered. Don't worry, found it. We have to research it right here. Uh, okay, but I will show you this. So this allows us to store now our iron, right? So we're gonna actually store a lot of iron here because we've got plenty of iron. This we can store wood. Okay, we'll keep chopping those trees down. So we'll store our wood and iron in there, okay? Just for the moment anyway, it'll keep us stocked up a little bit. So we've always got some reserves and it'll keep this production going and keep that ticking down. Now I'm not actually gonna go and build more storage units just yet because uh, it will mean that we have to, uh, we've got plenty of concrete slab and plenty of electronics stored actually in this building that we can pull out as we need it. So for the moment, I'm not gonna build more storage units and waste resources until we actually need it for constructing other stuff. All right? These guys are still going down here. Are we getting this built, guys? Come on, tickety-boo. Check the research while we're going. We've got last one here. So let's go with, um, well, let's just add that to the queue. We'll add this to the queue. This is the beacon I was talking about at the start. It's a strong light that helps refugees find your island and join you, okay? And here's the basic deagle, diesel, deagle, diesel, okay? So we're gonna go with that. All right. Uh, I'm wondering if we actually even need this building anymore. We could probably deconstruct it. We'll leave it there just in case there's a redundancy. And these guys are going to keep chopping wood now. So he's waiting for his little truck to come back. Are you, buddy? Yeah, he is. That's been it. That's episode one of our playthrough so far. Um, so, Captain of Industry, I hope you've enjoyed episode one anyway. Uh, that's it for today. If you'd like it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell not notification for more content, guys. If you've got any tips, tricks, hints, or comments, leave them in the comment section below so we can go through that together. Uh, and if you've got some, definitely, because I'm still learning this game as well. But I hope anyone starting out, that has helped you get a basic understanding of the basic principles of what's going on to start out. <laughs> Basically, is what I'm saying. All right, come on, guys, build this. What are you waiting for? Wood, okay. More wood. I've been Van Ham. Join me next time for some more Captain of Industries, Transport Fever, or Farming Sim. Bye for now.